Because I always think of it as like a little cocktail party. There are eight planets plus the sun and moon. Oh, Jupiter conjunct Venus. Such a sweet, romantic aspect. Now, once in a while, you get a little witch of a new moon. She's not friendly. And I also know how long it will last, how much energy it's got until... It, she needs a nap. <laughs> say nothing good happens between two and four in the morning. Libra got into the briar patch, and I have to get them out. A day in a life of Susan Miller and all of the travel. I mean, now that I've gotten to know you a little bit over the last couple of years, you're always traveling somewhere, going somewhere, moving this, doing this, you know, and running your business. And I want to hear about how that is and <laughs> what goes on behind. <laughs> well, luckily, it's like when you have a little baby, you don't really know what's coming and you grow with the child organically. So, yeah. so that part's good. Um, now my site serves 200 million page views a year to 11 million uniques a year, yeah, 1.5 million a month. I was so, reading that. I was like 11 million <laughs> followers. Well, you like, better be careful with your math when you're me. <laughs> well, my, my months are very pretty much structured. Um, well, first of all, I have people to pay. You know, yeah. there's the, the just the regular logistics of it all and the year like right now it's the beginning of the year so I do more traveling than usual because people want the year ahead yes and I'll be coming here on March 14th yes. which is wonderful in, in Hollywood um, so uh, I'm out a lot at this time but very soon I become Persephone <laughs> and go down under I have to start my calendar by April and the, the calendar takes about five months. Wow. First, we put, you know, you have to um, print out all the aspects. And then I look at the ones that you're really going to feel. And those are 95% of them. There's a few that go by so fast in a day, you may not even notice it. Okay. And then, um, then we have to put it on the right box. So I do this with Courtney, my assistant. And I'll say, oh, Jupiter conjunct Venus. Such a sweet, romantic aspect. Courtney, what day does it fall on? Monday. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the Saturday before, the 22nd, whatever? And I say, Take, you're going to start to feel this over the weekend. So make this a weekend where you, you celebrate each other or you go out. You know, if you don't have someone, try to get out with some friends because... This is such a sweet aspect. It's glamorous. It's shimmery. It has pixie dust. You know, so it's like that. Now, I write all my calendars for L.A., and you say why, or I should say West Coast. Yeah. Um, let's say we have a full moon, and it peaks at 11 o'clock at night in L.A., mm -hmm. 2 o'clock in the morning in New York. What are you going to do at 2 o'clock in the morning? Nothing. You're really going to, you're hopefully sleeping. Yeah. As your mother used to say, nothing good happens between 2 and 4 in the morning. You know? It's true, though. I mean, it's really, when you watch TV and all the problems that happen in the middle of the night, you know not to be out too late. So I, I, I say we have to, you're going to feel the full moon on, on the, the day it's peaking in L.A., even in New York. I mean, yeah. I think people get a little too stuck on the exact minute. I tell people, though, in Europe, and they're going to get an extra half day. In Asia, they're going to get a full day. Okay. But a full moon is always operative four and a half days after it appears. And two and a half, I would say two days before, you're starting to really feel it. Yeah. Now, with a new moon, you get a whole 10 days. But each day... It's strong and gets weaker and weaker and weaker because she's about to meet the full moon and relinquish her powers to, to the full moon. And Beautiful. so, you know, so, you know, you want to do things at the new moon in the beginning because it opens a new path. And I always write down what that is and how you're feeling it, how she's getting along with the other planets. Because I always think of it as like a little cocktail party. There are eight planets plus the sun and moon. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content.
And just like any little cocktail party, you could have two people talking here. You could have a group of three that could be in a, a very interesting debate. You could have two people who are like totally not getting along or Venus and Mars kissing each other. Uranus not getting enough attention and banging on the furniture. You know? <laughs> so I have to make sense of it. And for everyone, it depends on your ruling planet, how you will feel the the conversations of the planets that month. I love the way that, that I mean, I'm just seeing it in my head. And yeah. I'm seeing these little, like, this. they're my little friends, and I talk to them. <laughs> you no, know, but that's like, I, I love that because it's like a, a moment into your mind, you know, of, <laughs> of saying, like, okay, yeah, let's, let's give them, you know, human personas and let's see them at like a oh, cocktail party. I always and, think of them that way. Now, so, now you get one new moon in all of the, 12 slices of the pizza pie, one each month in a different part of life. Now, once in a while, you get a little witch of a new moon. She's not friendly. She's, she's, she's angry with everybody, okay? But you're depending on that new moon to solve maybe a problem. Let's yeah. say your, your main thing is to find a new apartment. Your landlord has sold the building, you know, whatever. You yeah. know, and that happened to my daughter. The landlord called her up and said, Hi, I'm your new landlord. You have 12 weeks to leave. She was shocked. So she called me and she said, Mommy, how much time do I have to find my dream apartment? I said, I know. Hold on to your seat. It's You should be really looking next week. She said, actually, that works for us uh, because us being her job, she works for CBS and they were going to be dark that week. Ah. And she said, I could pack. Maybe I could find them. And she found a beautiful place they really did her a favor by yeah. <laughs> yeah selling it at the right time you know but I can tell now let's say you want to do something at a bad full moon or new moon new moon usually I can tell you how to get around it a little bit and I can give you alternate dates later in the year okay so you know hopefully you have a good new moon you know that new moon let's say you say to me you know Money should be good. You know, you say, I have Jupiter, but it's just, I can't get a raise, whatever it is. I have to go back to that new moon that happened, I don't know, it could be seven months, ten months, whatever it is, I have to go back to that new moon. And if that new moon was flawed, okay, now, at least as a detective, I know what it is. And I can, and I also know how long it will last, how much energy it's got until it, she needs a nap. <laughs> And so I can um, I can give you good advice. You know, I found that out I, I, because sometimes you get a case where nothing's making sense. And I'm like, wait a minute, how is that new moon? Also, you look at the progressed moon. So astrologers progress your life one day for every day you're alive, one degree. And um, and that gives a shading to the the progressed sun and moon are the most important. And you can get a lot of information from that, too. I always like to go back, though, to the natal chart. That's my favorite. But, um, you know, so I'm sitting here, you know, at the, at the 20th of every month, I have to begin Astrology Zone. Each one takes me seven hours to write, and that does not include the summary, which I've written Well, you do like 40,000 words a month or something like that. It's right? a lot. You know, and sometimes Courtney will walk by me and say, what? You're just, as I'm thinking, Libra got into the briar patch and I have to get them out. Let's see what would be the best way. <laughs> you know, I do think, and the readers on Twitter don't know that I have to think. They think I just bang it out in an hour. I don't. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.